on the magical mystery tour we're heading into town we're going to go and see a lovely young lady about a stand <laughs> no it doesn't go together that's not a song you idiot because i'm not allowed to sing songs because i've all copyrighted all the good songs so i was trying to make up a song the other day if I could get some. There's probably a rock star out there that could write us a Bush B Man song. There's a challenge for you. Send me in a bloody Bush B Man song. But don't be too insulting because I might not play it if you're too mean to me. But as long as it's funny, maybe we would. <laughs> anyway. anyway, sorry. On another plane, young Kylie in here is stocking our stuff at her beautiful store of dear Layla. She's got clothes and gorgeous looking stuff. She's about to open her second shop, which is kind of cool. And she's wondering whether we could make a shelf to put our products on in her new shop because you'll have a bit more room and so it's got me all motivated and I'm thinking well I better go in and see what size she's thinking otherwise I might turn up with you know a shipping container full of stuff and she'll go what the hell <laughs> so anyway so into Loxton we go find out what's the go Come on in. Come on in, we're here. Call it in, it's just to get an Because what I've decided, I thought after the conversation the other day, but yeah. is that um, if I make it a stand out of B boxes, need to sort of know how big the stand needs to be. Okay. So, or how much room I have got to play with. It's about, at the one I've got three boxes, which is about that wide, I thought. That's three boxes. Three boxes that wide. Yep. And then it's roughly about that high. Yep, I'll make it fit. That will work? Yep. Yeah, cool. Anything you give me, I'll make it fit. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds good. That's yeah. very obliging. Yeah. And then I was going to, on the next part of it, I yep. thought I could make a little, just out of a bee box for a counter if you wanted one in here. Yep. Like just one box. Yep, sounds so good. So we could sort of have some shelves and I like work. It. Yep, I like it. Yeah. Whatever cool. you do, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yep. And so, and I've I was. I've only got one of these left already. Oh, God, that yeah. gone off. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy stuff. People love that honeycomb stuff. Yeah, so I, I'll need you to bring me more in because yeah, I don't yeah. want to take that one because yeah, I want to nah, sell it. Yeah. So. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. that'll be good. Nah, yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, so perfect. I thought that would be cool. So I had some eight frame B boxes that I had laying around here after tidying up. Well, it doesn't look like I'm tidied up. I am tidying up. <laughs> I thought, well, they might make a really cool display cabinet. I'm not 100% sure how we're going to put them together. So I've been consulting with the wife and made a bit of a sack. And this is the configuration that she's decided is the best. So that's what we're going to run with. So we've got three horizontals, no, three uprightings, I suppose. Horizontals by two, and three at the top, and a little new box on the top just for a bit of aesthetics. You reckon that was a cool idea because I might have just finished it off nicely. Well, I reckon all we've got to do now is clean them up a bit and stick it together. Oh, of course. Why does it always sound simpler than it ever is? But anyway, well, I don't know. I thought it was pretty groovy. And the person in charge of shit that's supposed to look cool thought it was good, who's my lovely wife, by the way. And even the cameraman gave me a nod. So here we are, we've got three people saying it's cool. So hopefully the lady that has it in her shop thinks it's cool, because otherwise we're in real trouble. But she's a lovely girl anyway, and I'm sure she'll just go, Mr. Bush Bee Man, that's very nice, but maybe we could do this. So. We will review that when we get there, but we've got to start somewhere and here we go. So let's get screwing. Come on. Woo! Cool. This is little bit of um, artistic ability. <laughs> the accident, of course, which is most where most artists find out how cool shit is. This is like a bit of, had a bit of overspray, but in here it had some of the wax where the girls had made their little like on the side of the box. They always make wax, and the paint hasn't obviously pierced the wax. So when I've taken the wax off, 
it's left these little cool patterns. So I reckon going forward, I might spray paint the box before I take the wax off. But it might be a stupid idea, but I reckon that looks cool. Don't you reckon that looks awesome? Even the rotten, annoying wax moths make this cool pattern in the box. So there you go. Everything has a purpose. Just about, we just have to wait long enough for it to turn up. Because how good does that look even as a piece of like, I don't know. Can you imagine having to get there with your little chisel and go, and trying to create that? You couldn't, you couldn't make it like that. So, and that one's cool. Look at that, look at that pattern at the bottom there. See, now, from swearing and cursing about wax moths, I'm sort of going, oh, maybe I just have to be a bit careful about the ones that I look after. I am not looking after wax moths just for that, but that's not what I mean. I mean, when I get a box that's got that pattern, I won't jolly just chuck it out the back and burn it. A little newt box on the top, when we're finishing off, that should be beautiful. Awesome. I reckon that's the way we'll put it together. So we'll put these three out the way. So that'll be the top section. These two will be the next section. So we might start at the bottom and screw them together. Any clue as to where we left the packet of screws we bought yesterday? You forgot to buy the screws. Didn't we buy them at the next shop? Or did we not buy any screws in the end? Yeah, no, we bought them at um, Thrifty Link. I'm sorry, Dad, you did buy them. Yes, it's a miracle. Look at that. Honestly, I know I haven't filled you full of any compliments, but still. <laughs> rustic look. Is that what they call that? A rustic look? I reckon that's kind of cool. I reckon that's cool. Yeah. And all we got to do is sort of make sure we get it kind of square. Otherwise, that will suck. If you are making something, it's a bit like when you hang a painting on the wall. If you're hanging three paintings in a row and you're not particularly good at hanging paintings, just make sure you make the other one totally out of whack because then you have the two that are sort of there and, and it, nobody's really sure whether they're meant to be exactly in line because otherwise you're getting all sorts of trouble unless you've got a really good measuring eye. If you haven't guessed by now, I'm not real good at the measuring eye thing. Well, at least make sure it's square back here, because that's the easiest angle to get it, because it's the nice flat edge. I mean, hell, I'm guessing this is the back. Oh, fuck it, that'll be all right. It looks kind of cool, I reckon. Rustic. <laughs> it's a bit like, um, hey, what do they call that? When they screw up your meal at the, at the bloody restaurant, they call it deconstructed when it falls to bits on the way to your table. <laughs> Poor jolly waitresses. I swear it was a pile of food before I got it halfway here. Oh, rather than trying to screw sideways. Well, as long as I get it flush there. Otherwise that'll suck balls, won't it? Maybe that is a bad idea. Mr. Indecision. No, I think I have to go with my original plan. Ah, oh, changed my bloody mind more than a... No, I can't do that. I don't know. More than a something. I'm sure there's somebody that changes their mind more than me. <laughs> I wouldn't have got a job at Norma and Terminal and Nottage when they were in business. They used to make fine furniture there. Like proper furniture there with tails and doves and shit put together. Or actually, I think they're called dove tails, but anyway. I guess that is a bit like that, isn't it? A dove tail with a little feather sticking out. Is that what it's about? Like, you know, that's a dove tail join there, I think, isn't it? No, I don't know. <laughs> We really should put the shelves in these two. Otherwise, that's going to get entertaining. I'll have to go and buy longer screws and... <sighs> well, hell.
<laughs> we wouldn't get too carried away, and plus we haven't got time. So let's just unscrew this. I had a brainwave whilst laying in bed thinking about how to get this thing constructed. And I thought, I wonder if I got the ends, just these end parts that I've got, and I could use them as the shelf and I wouldn't have to get too stressed out about doing nothing other than cut the lip off. I just happened to have a couple of them out here in the other room. I guess going forward, if I end up making lots of these, I'll have to just knock an end off of an old box, which I suppose we could do, but I've got some new ones. So if the boss lets me get away with that, that's what I'm gonna do today. So wait there, and I'll go and show you what I'm talking about. But hopefully I'm thinking if we cut this little lip off either end, it should just almost become an instant shelf. It's not quite perfect, but anyway. <laughs> what about this one? That one's a bit better. It'll still work though, because we can screw it there and... I think so. I think that's a cool idea. Now our cu us couple of rebel cabinet makers have just gone just slightly off of what was recommended. So we figure we're just going to have a shelf in either end and not one in the middle. So then we could maybe, I don't know, she could stack the big leader pots of honey in a pile. Anyway, anyway, that's what we're going to do. And the cool thing about using screws, if the boss comes home and just says that aesthetically that is not acceptable, I can unscrew it and I can fix it. But I'm freaking sure she's going to be happy with us. I reckon she'll be distracted by bees in the bedroom, so it won't matter. Talking about bees in the bedroom, I got this awesome email from some dudes in South Africa. Man, they had some trouble. They had bees in the bedroom, in their bathroom, coming out between the bath and the wall, and holy smack and heck, it sounds like an awful blooming mess. But I got me thinking, if you have some insane bee stories about being invaded in your house or in your shed or whatever else, perhaps you should email them to us and we might put together a mad-ass bee book about crazy shit that's happened. Anyway, just a random thought. But thank you very much for your email. It was most entertaining and I'm glad you survived the excitement of your blooming beetles in your bathtub and maggots running around your house and shit going everywhere. It was a really good read. And if you're interested in having a read, just flick over to our Facebook page and check it out. It's friggin' weird. Allow yourself 10 minutes at least because it's a jolly good story and it's pretty involved, but it's definitely worth a read. So thank you all and keep on, keep on telling us what those crazy stories are that you've had because it's all very interesting. Anyway, we'll cut our lips off. That doesn't sound good, does it? We'll cut the lips off the cupboard, not our own lips. And we'll set that up and we'll be all good. Shit, was that the up or the down? Which is which? <laughs> Does that matter? Come on. Yeah, hang on. That was that up there. So it's got to be that way up. We might even measure it. <laughs> How would that be for crazy? Because we've still got our blooming pencil. Remind me to put the pencil back. Otherwise, we'll never find it next time we want it. No, anyway, we'll see if it works for me. Thinking, did I end it, measure it from the end end or from the edge end? Is in that bit? I reckon I measured it from there. In fact, it doesn't look very level. <laughs> How do we manage that? 
Give me that. No, that's all right, isn't it? Just thought it was going a bit that way, but it is a little bit that way. Yeah, well. <laughs> it is a bush bee man cupboard after all. You wouldn't expect too much. Would you? I like these self-tapping screws. Got those little blades in there so they cut their own bit in. Does that look sort of like it's right? No, nope, that's wrong there. That's what the chart is. <laughs> oh God! Are we ready? Yeah, we'll do that. How's that? That's a bit dodgy. <laughs> Fixed. It's magical. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Ta-da! Looks all right, I think, doesn't it? Ooh. It depends who doesn't roll off. It should be all right, shouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be sad if it was that crooked, wouldn't it? <laughs> so we get a marble? Nah. For our little piece of resistance, we'll put this on the top. <laughs> I was just checking this out on the way here. Looks like a snake with a rabbit's head. <laughs> That's kind of cool, isn't it? Ah, the things you can make all by yourself without even trying. Awesome. Guess I should measure that just to make sure, should I? I don't think I really bloody that. It's all so professional, Mark Code. 26 and a half. And that's 29, so it's going to come this way. Okay. So we got 28. 27 and a half. So. Oh, golly, come on. I reckon we're getting pretty close. I reckon that's good enough. That'll have to do anyway. Who's going to be wearing using a tape measure in the shop anyway? If we screw that to there. To there, 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 Come on, be nice to me. Uh, I'm trying to be a smart ass. Maybe we better tap it back the other way. Where the heck is it? There. Oh, there it is, there. Ah, oh, come on. It was a big fat head, no wonder it would pull through. Ah, I thought it was like that of the nail gun, but it looks like it's out of the It's a real nail. You're a real boy. Ugh, it's actually a real nail. It's got a proper head. Right. We've got our snake rabbit cupboard already put together. Look at us go. Yeah, I'm hopefully, hopefully the immediate boss will be happy and young Kylie will reckon it's pretty good for her shop. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's rustic charm, that's what they call that, isn't it? Anyway, if you're following along with our cabinet building thing, you'll get to see it live in action at Kylie's shop on the 14th of July when she cranks it open. And so if you're a local, kick along there to Renmark. And I think she's opposite the pub somewhere, she said. But I don't know what number, because I'm not that clever. Opposite, between the pub and the uh, Yates's. Everybody knows where Yates's is, and I'm fairly sure everybody knows where the beer's cold. So can't be that hard to find. Hopefully not. <laughs>